Teacher's body suits packs a lot of personality and style. We're here to unpack a selection of suits that'll tell us what kind of web slinger you are. I'm Freddy with the leaderboard and let's see what your Spider-Man suit says about you. Also, there are light spoilers ahead as we'll be revealing some of the costumes you get late in the game, so let's jump right in. Spider-Punk. Let's kick it off with the anarchist with a heart of gold. The Spider-Punk suit is a symbol of resistance. Originally worn by Hobie Brown when he took down President Osborne's oppressive regime, this suit is full of memories of dismantling corrupt systems. If you main this suit, you're either an activist, an anarchist, or both. Trouble brewing? You're not one to sit around and complain. You get up, get out, and fight for what's right, while also sporting a sweet denim jacket. You're out to destroy any malignant government to give power back to the disenfranchised. And you also make sure that all your friends register to vote. The punk suit is your way of saying that things are not okay and you are going to fix it, with a little rock and roll of course. Your suit power of rocking out will deafen any resistance you face and also give you a chance to show off your tasty licks and shredding skills. <sighs> all those years of practicing in your parents garage finally paid off. Fight the powers that be with this heavily styled stylized suit. Noir. Here is a suit for the player who loved the Arkham games but picked up Spider-Man to get some Marvel action. If you're this player, you might concede that Spidey can swim through the air better than the Dark Knight, but you draw the line at Parker's bright red and blue costume. Luckily, there's a look perfect for shadowy figures like you, the Noir suit. Maybe it appeals to your secret love for all things steampunk, or maybe you just want to rock that double-breasted leather vest. No judgment. With its pinstriped pants and leather mask, the Noir suit is heavy on style. If you main this suit, New York City is just the back for your Blade Runner fantasy. You might have rocked the Noir suit early on in the game when its stealth power helped you take down enemy hordes before they could call for backup. This suit is perfect for the player who likes to keep a low profile while still dressing with flair. The silence of the night sky is music to your ears as you bring down justice to those too scared to show themselves in the daylight. You are vengeance. You are the night. You are, well, you know. Wrestling! Always one for a good callback, the wrestler is a reminder of where you started and just how far you've come. Peter's early days as a wrestler may have helped earn some quick cash, but never really embodied what Spider-Man should be. Once he forgot the money and focused on the responsibility, he became the superhero we all know and admire. It's important to never forget who you once were though, and wrestler players can remember their cage match days with this homemade outfit. Forget the high-tech gadgets, the fancy glass lenses, and even forget, well, oh, gloves. This outfit is old school. One sweater, one pair of sweatpants, a wrestling mask, and you are good to go. No fuss, no muss. This is the outfit for those not afraid to rough it and take only the bare necessities with them when they go out. You could also be heavily into the WWE and just constantly drop the people's elbow on whoever crosses your path. Looking at you, The Rock. 2099. The future is now. You wear the 2099 suit to tell the world you are ready to embrace tomorrow. Greedy corporations and all. Designed by Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man of the year 2099, this costume has a bit of Mexican heritage infused with its futuristic look. Miguel crafted the costume using a suit he had from the previous year's Day of the Dead festival, a Mexican holiday that honors the dead. Spider fans who wear this suit are all about embracing change while honoring the past. The 2099 suit has some clear reverence for its earlier iterations, but isn't afraid to change things up. The suit's talons are especially striking, and they're perfect for slicing and dicing your way through New York's thugs. This is the suit of choice for those who love to get aerial as Miguel's suit comes equipped with some high flying fun. The low gravity power lets you slowly descend in air, allowing you to rake up more sweet, sweet combos. Iron Spider. The training wheels are off. This is the suit for the big leagues, or for anyone who's really into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Gifted to Peter by his idol mentor Tony Stark, this suit lets Peter be the spider son Tony never had. Iron Man fanboys will adopt this suit for its metallic look and classic red and gold finish. Just be careful while wearing the suit. Deaths in the Iron Spider suit are extra painful after Infinity War. He didn't want to go. The Iron Spider is also the suit for players who like a little more spider with their man. The four extra appendages that pop out of the back of the suit make you the eight-armed spider you've always wanted to be. Maybe Charlotte's Web really made you tear up when you were a kid, or you felt sorry for the spider you flushed down a toilet. Either way, this costume is your way to truly embody your inner spider. 
Spirit Spider. You're maybe a little too into Nicolas Cage for your own good, and just like the Rage and Cage, you have some inner demons to work out. The Spirit Spider costume lets players really show off their ghostly demeanor. This costume was forged after a Peter Parker from an alternate universe had his soul sent to hell and back. So this outfit definitely has some edge to it. Spirit Spider is great for those who want to experience Halloween all year round. They dig the suit's spooky aesthetic, but they're really in it for the cutscenes. Just riding the subway is its own reward. This player knows that in New York, the crazier your costume, the better your disguise. Because everyone will just avoid making eye contact with you. Wear this if you're feeling rather ghoulish and want to give both criminals and pedestrians a good fright in the night. Advanced Suit Sleek, stylized, and sporty, the advanced suit is for players who love moving around the city in the most efficient way possible. Insomniac designed this suit to look like modern day athletic gear with a spidey touch. Advanced suit players are bold, with a big spider on the front that lets the people of NYC know that Spider-Man is here. A man swinging from webs 50 feet above them probably gave them a good hint too. This Under Armour inspired suit is perfect for running up a wall and then hitting a CrossFit session at the local gym. The extra white padding on the knuckles is perfect for any bad guy beat down. If you like the suit for its skill, probably find yourself using your focused base skills, whether it's a brutal finisher, some fancy web work, or just healing up after a hard fought battle. This suit is perfect for players who like to innovate on a classic while staying true to the original. Spider Armor Mach 3! Ready for any situation, the Spider Armor Mach 3 is the armor of the prepared. It was crafted to give each member of the Sinister Six a run for their money. Players who main the suit probably have a Swiss Army knife in their pocket, or maybe they just have a straight up go bag with them at all times. This is the armor for the Boy and Girl Scouts of the world. With the suit power of titanium alloy plates, bullets will be the least of your concerns. The ability to reflect most bullets back at their senders shows that this Spider-Man is ready to take on bigger problems. This armor is well suited for your Renaissance Fair fans as well. The spider armor looks like it's ripped right out of an MCU version of Lord of the Rings, which actually sounds pretty cool. The Mark III is for those of us valiant enough to protect the weak, to steal from the rich, give to the poor. Be Manhattan's knight in shining armor and pray Fin Fan Foo doesn't show up. Vintage. All these new suits are nice, but there's really nothing like the classics. Vintage suit players know that they got it right the first time. Spider-Man's original suit, designed by Steve Ditko, is still iconic to this day and is worn by spider kids and adults at cons, parties, and sometimes just to do errands around town. These are the players who relish in the original reds, blues, whites, and blacks of the classic Spidey suit that captivated readers over 50 years ago. Photo mode fiends who crave that classic comic look will equip this suit for some pictures that look straight out of Amazing Fantasy number 15. These players aren't afraid to unleash their inner Daily Bugle photographer for any and all Spidey selfies. Get ready for your close-up with this love letter to classic Spidey. Negative. Do you love that anti-Venom look? Upset there was no symbiote or future foundation costume in the game? The negative suit is the suit for you. Absolutely no positive vibes will emanate from you when you drape yourself in these black and white spandex. This suit is for all the Debbie Downers in the world who love raining on any parade. With your suit ability to unleash a wave of negative energy, your foes will never be happy again. Mr. Negative likes to bring out the worst in people. And with negative suit, so can you! This suit is great for players who love to remind people of all the difficulties they face in life. Just do yourself a favor and don't wear it to any parties. Last stand. You're getting older. A little grayer up top, a little wiser, maybe more cynical. The tight, fun, and bright spandex of your youth are eh, a little too much. You want something simpler, something more practical. You are Spider Dad. The Last Stand suit is a suit for the aging Spidey in all of us. A leather jacket, black jeans, and combat boots give us a more modern, more stripped down look for the spider. The Last Stand suit can double as a great outfit to wear when you're hiking or doing a little exploration around the city. It's tough, it's rugged, but it still has some of that spider flair. You might be a young player with a refined taste, or perhaps you're just drawn to this suit's more muted palette. Whatever its appeal, the Last Stand suit reminds players that sometimes you don't need some flashy Stark Industries suit to be the hero the city needs. You're already Spider-Man. So keep it simple in the Last Stand suit's leather jacket and sensible slacks. Undies. These players love to bear it all. Well, almost all. You wear the undies suit because the hot summer sun's been dragging you down. You want to be free, man. You want to live. You'll be able to unlock this suit once you've beaten the game and 100%ed all of the districts. It's the perfect look for when Spider-Man is ready to kick back and relax after ridding his city of crime. It's also the costume of choice for players who look good and know it. Show off that bod. The Spider-Man themed underwear might be a little too self-indulgent, but no judgment here. While this suit may be all revealing, some things still need to stay a secret. The Spidey mask 
task will key folks into just who exactly is semi-streaking above the streets of NYC, all the while protecting your identity from cops and criminals. With great nakedness comes great vulnerability. So beware, undie lovers. These players go down in one hit. Better pay extra careful attention to that spidey sense. Also, just put some pants on. Didn't see your main suit? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to swing over to our video that poses the burning question, how accurate is the Spider-Man map to the real world NYC? I'm Freddy with the leaderboard, and that is a wrap on what your Spider-Man suit says about you. Don't forget to subscribe to the leaderboard, your home for video game facts.